And it's also where this event continues. Okay, and that concludes our business here in the Deku Palace. Pretty lovely sight. Peace with the monkeys have been returned. Father and daughter are also once again reunited. However, we're not completely done with the race of the Dekus yet. As the princess said, the butler is now in the Deku Shrine and he prepared something for us. A little bit of a reward. Let's go check that out. We know the Deku Shrine is actually this way. Could have checked it out earlier. Oh. <laughs> failure! <laughs> Lilypad bouncing failure. And I'm supposed to do a challenge in the Deku Shrine. I can't even reach it. <laughs> but anyway, I was trying to say... You can go here earlier, but it will just be empty. There's nothing for you to do here. Only once you have completed the first two steps of a royal rush... There's actually something for you to do here. Let's go check out what that is. Welcome to the Deku Shrine. Hi there, Mr. Butler. What do you have for me, sir? Drinks. I am truly thankful for what you have done for the princess. As a sign of her gratitude, we Deku have prepared something that we think may assist you. I will lead you to it. Please follow me. Oh, are you expecting some rain? <laughs> no, that's actually his way of floating around. As you can see, we have a little bit of a maze area. And we need to... Try to follow him. Of course, it's not always going to be easy, but that is basically where the challenge is. So I can definitely recommend using the bunny hood here. Your faster running speed will actually make this a lot easier. Otherwise, sometimes it is pretty easy to lose sight of him. And as you can see by the map at the bottom screen, you can't use that to cheese this area. Only once you are done with a certain room, only then it will get filled out in the map, so... Even the map you can't use to cheese this maze. <laughs> you actually have to follow him around. Otherwise you're going to end up in dead ends a whole lot. And if you get too far behind him you'll actually fail this challenge. Because there's actually a couple of doors that will close at uh, certain uh, locations and certain points in time. You can actually hear them in the background. Doors closing. Once you end up behind a closed door... You get warped out of the Deku Shrine and you failed the challenge. You have to try again. Here's an example of these uh, dead ends. If you don't see the butler entering this tunnel, uh, you have to guess where you need to go. It's pretty easy to guess the wrong one. <laughs> okay, same kind of deal here. Careful for the spear gate. In the N64 version, these are actually flames. I think they changed that because uh, Deku Link can't handle flames. And uh, if you get hit by a fire attack as Deku Link, you actually also instantly failed the challenge and I think they thought that went a little bit too far so they changed the flames into uh, regular gates <laughs> also an interesting change in this version but anyway with the bunny hoods it's pretty easy to keep track of him however here we do need to hit the switch still not too sure if this is a time switch I'm pretty sure it's not not that it matters, because we're timed anyway in this challenge. <laughs> but anyway, if you manage to stay close enough to him, you'll be able to reach the final room. Well done, Trix. Now, here's the item that I promised. Please accept it. You got the Mask of Sense. Wear it to heighten your sense of smell. Sniff, sniff. That is the smell of power. Actually, when I see you, I am reminded of my son who left home long ago. I felt as if I once again was racing with my son. I have tried too hard to outrun you. As old as I am, I am still fast, just li like when I raced my son. Please forgive my rudeness. You can find your way out through that light over there. I look forward to meeting you again. Drix, take care. A royal rush. Final step. Completing this event. You kept up with the Deku Butler. And received another mask, of course. Okay, that dialogue of the Deku Butler talking about how we are reminding him of his son. Remember that. There's actually um, some very important background story. 
won't be talking about that quite yet. There's one piece of context we're still missing before I start giving away what is actually up. <laughs> but anyway, remember that remark. Let's move out of here. There's actually everything we can do in the Deku Palace. Let's return to the Southern Swamp. Because, of course, clearing off the dungeon actually unlocks a couple of things in the now cleaned swamp. And it also locks a couple of things. Um, one of them being the pictograph contest. I did say I was going to do that later anyway. However, I can show it off, of course. Remember how the uh, tourist center guy talked about how we can take a picture of the swamp and do a little bit of a contest with that. Win something if our picture is good enough. However, if the dungeon is beaten, you cannot no longer do that. As you can see, he will talk about how the contest has ended. So that uh, quest is locked. Mm, but it doesn't matter because I was planning on doing that in the next cycle anyway. Then I will be running around in the swamp still, so might as well do it then. Okay, let's go talk to you. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. As special for you... I'll let you take this cruise for free. Oh, but wait. Yes, just as I thought. It seems the poison in the swamp has been cleaned up. So why not try something that's a little bit more interesting? How about a little game? I'll fly around on my broom while you try to hit the target below me. Okay, it's mini game time it seems. Let's go. <laughs> that's the way to go. But let me explain. You're not aiming for me with that bow. You're aiming for the target. If you hit me, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> Yeah, of course, now that we have the bow and arrow, we actually unlock a lot of minigames with it. This one included. As you can see, we have Kume who flies around on her broomstick. Holding some target below her. And we need to hit that. You are allowed to hit Kume, even though she says, if you hit me, I'll never forgive you. Uh, the minigame only fails if you actually hit her enough times. I believe it's... Around 5 to 10 times or something like that. Come on, I can't see. <laughs> Stupid screen transitions. But anyway, don't think if you only hit her once, you already fail. You actually hit, need to hit her multiple times before the minigame fails. But the goal here is to actually hit this target. I'm not too sure what the exact number is you need in order to get the reward for this. It's 30, 40 or 50. I'm not too sure what it is. All I'm sure of is that, that I never fail this, so... <laughs> it's pretty easy. As you can see, she doesn't fly around too fast, so... The target's usually still pretty easy to hit, I feel. Let's go see how much points I can score. I'm pretty sure the number of points you need is 40. Oh, oops. <laughs> Sorry, Kume. <laughs> Okay, I'm also able to reach 50, it seems. Let's go for 60. She is pretty far away now, so... <laughs> Still no problem. Okay, 60. Can we go for 70? Come on. A little screen transition coming up, so... Have to shoot blindly again. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> there you are. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Come on. Yeah, seventy. <laughs> Seventy-one. Seventy-two. Okay, it was pretty good. Seventy-two hits. Pretty good. Considering. <laughs> what? Well, as I promised, here, take this. We get an empty bottle. Our second one. Now, wasn't that fun? If you'd like to play again, come back and see me. Tee hee! The potion hacks, new business. You got a high score in Kume's target shooting. I got an empty bottle for that. Okay, good thing to note about this. In the Nintendo 64 version, you actually receive a piece of heart here. 
That piece of art is actually uh, pushed to a different challenge in this game. I'll point out which one it is the moment we reach it. But anyway, if you remember correctly, here at the entry area of the Southern Swamp, when we first got here, I actually pointed you out towards another target shooting mini game. And you guessed it, now that we have the bow and arrow, we can actually also do that one. <laughs> so of course we're doing that one too. Stay away from me. But anyway, this door. We haven't seen the inside yet. There was no need to, there wasn't anything for us to do. But now the Swamp Shooting Gallery is open for business. Let's go see if we can do this mini game as well. Hi mate, how are ya? Wanna play? One game is 20 rupees. The rules to me game are a piece of cake. Shoot for the targets from atop the platform. You gotta hit them all. That's all there is to it. If you don't aim proper with a control stick, you won't hit any of them. Are you ready, mate? Okay, next shooting mini game. As you can see, some enemies will pop up in this arena. And we need to shoot every single one of them in order to get a perfect score. We we'll actually alter alternate between Deku Scrubs that spawn and uh, these crow enemies that spawn. And sometimes a couple of wolves will also appear. Be careful for those because they, they will actually not stay around. The Deku Scrubs you can officially miss, those will respawn as you can see. But these wolves, the, wolf the wolfos, uh, those will actually di disappear if you take too long, so make sure not to miss them. Same, same deal about these crows, if they uh, get too far off screen, they will not return. And therefore saying only the Deku Scrubs you're allowed to miss for the perfect score. Everything else we need to hit the moment they appear, otherwise we don't get a second chance. Okay, two Wolfos at a time. Okay, there we go. Perfect score. All the time you have remaining will get added to your score. Well, that's pretty darn good, mate. Perfect! Here you go. Take this, mate. You traded for a large quiver. Now you can carry up to 40 arrows. We barely have the bow and arrow and already we expand our equipment. <laughs> you got a good score at the Swamp Shooting Gallery. Okay, this guy's on the timeline, showing off that the shop isn't open always, as you can see. Aye, tell your friends all about us, alright mate? Yeah, and if you looked correctly at that event, you saw there was only one step. There is a second step. Therefore saying we need to play this minigame again. <laughs> this time we are actually aiming for uh, 2160 points, I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on this. However, there are two prizes we can win in this. The first one is for a perfect score, and the other one is for a certain high score, which I'm pretty sure is in 2100 points. Something you can officially do without a perfect score, because as you might have seen the moment the minigame ends, all our time remaining also gets added to our points. So the second prize you can officially also reach without a perfect score. But why wouldn't you go for another perfect score? The stupid night of the second day uh, screen was kind of uh, in the way. <laughs> but I was still able to hit these enemies, <laughs> luckily. Okay, missed that final one. It'll be back. There you are. Okay, last two. And there we go. Another perfect score. We didn't need one, but... Uh, <laughs> This minigame is easy enough for me. I'm pretty sure this even beats my old score. Yeah, 2500 points. But anyway, if you get enough points, you will also receive the second reward. Completing this challenge. You mastered the Swamp Shooting Gallery. Peace of heart. Okay, and that cl uh, cleans off this event. That's all we can do here. However, we are talking about shooting galleries. If you remember correctly, Clocktown actually also had one. Let's go there immediately as well. 
getting the bow and arrow is fun and everything. But it does unlock a lot of events for us. Most of all, shooting minigames. <laughs> Three in a row. And this final one is the most interesting one, I feel. This one is definitely the most fun to do. Um, but I am running low on money, I see. <laughs> of course, the minigame is not for free. So, allow me to go to the bomber's height out quickly before I go to the minigame, which is that one over there. There's 100 rupees I can get there quickly. Okay, unlike the swamp shooting gallery, I'm pretty sure this one is not on timeline, so I should be able to go in. Oh, another note, uh, this minigame is also unlocked now, now that we have the bow and arrow. However, this is another three-day challenge, so I'll do that one in the next cycle, since the first day has already ended. <laughs> I can't do that one fully. Okay, welcome to the town shooting gallery. We have not shot our bow and arrow enough times already in minigames. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, Sonny? One game is 20 rupees. Alright, Sonny, the rules are simple. Hit as many red ones as you can in the time limit. If you hit the blue one, you will lose time, so watch out. You can use as many arrows as you'd like. Press B to shoot them. Our highest score is 39. If you break the record, you'll win a spectacular prize. Good luck! Okay, and this is how this one works. As you can see, Arctor Rock should shoot him. They will start appearing in certain locations in the water, and we need to shoot them as quickly as we can. However, only the red ones. If we hit the blue ones, we will not receive a point, but we will get a penalty draining our time. It's not just a fast reaction shooting minigame, we also need to pay attention what we're shooting here. Unlike the other minigame, we cannot shoot everything here. This one is definitely the most fun to do, I feel, because of this one being so speed-based. <laughs> However, for the first prize, we only need to get a high score, and nothing more. So that's what I'll be focusing on for now. Of course, the quicker you do this, the faster the new group will respawn. One more, five seconds. And time up, 49. Well, look at that, you hit 49. That's a new record. Well, here you go. And we received the largest quiver. Now you can hold up to 50 arrows. Well, our days of only carrying around 30 arrows didn't last very long. <laughs> you got a good score at the town shooting gallery. Oh, and I was incorrect, this guy is on the timeline. But officially it's still open, as you can see. Not for a whole lot longer, it looks like. <laughs> However, it's still open, so we can also do the second challenge here. For this one, we actually need to get a perfect score. Hit all 50 of them. That should not be a problem. Because if, if, if it isn't obvious, I play this mini game a whole lot while I play this game. <laughs> I really love this minigame. Up to a point where I can say I'm pretty much pro at this minigame. Because that one I missed in the previous attempt, if it wasn't obvious, I missed that one deliberately. <laughs> I didn't want the perfect score the first time through. Now I will. After playing this for millions of times, this has become pretty easy for me. Especially when using control stick controls, because I'm never going to use motion controls with this. <laughs> that is not fun with this. Officially you can. The 3DS does uh, allow you to use motion controls, of course. But allow me not to do that. <laughs> I really don't like the motion controls on the 3DS. It works fine on the Wii, but not on the 3DS, I feel. Okay, final one. Bam, 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 bam. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pretty obvious I play this uh, more often. 
Huh? No way! That was perfect! Well, here you go! Getting a perfect score will give you the second step of this event. Clearing it off, you mastered the town shooting gallery. And we received the next heart container because this piece of heart is the next fourth one. I am a master of archery. <laughs> Hey, officially I am. I was able to clear all three of these minigames first try. <laughs> I should deserve the title Master of Archery for that. Perhaps I should play it with motion controls next time. It will give me a lot more challenge, I feel. <laughs> hey, but anyway, um, yeah, there's not a whole lot more to do. For the next couple of things I'd like to do, it needs to be the first day again. And of course, the swamp needs to be poisoned again, because one event got locked. The picture contest. So I think I'm going to leave it with this. In all honesty, I'm also kind of running low on time. So I'm kind of forced to end this cycle now. Since I need to leave in half an hour time, so I can't really do a whole lot more. So let's go put the final couple of rupees I have in the bank. And let's call it a day. At least we made some good progress. The first dungeon in this game has been cleared. We also know a little bit more... About what Tail was talking about. Apparently the giants are the ones we need to bring to the clock tower. However, all four of them are required and we only have one of them. The one we freed from Odoa's remains. Next time we are going to go to the mountains and find out if we can find the second one. But before we do, it's once again going to be side quest time. So let's head back in time again. So we can start off with a clean sheet next time. Cleaning up the next couple of events now that we have the bow and arrow. And if we have time, also head to the mountains. In order to find the second giant. I hope you enjoyed watching this cycle. Cycle 3 has ended. Next time, cycle 4. Thanks for watching and treeks out.